sick one day. I am sick and fucking tired. Uh, Oral Roberts motivated me to get in comedy. You know who Oral Roberts is? He's the founder and president of Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The longest running television show in America is the Oral Roberts television show. It's still on. In 1983, I was, uh, I was uh, uh, working for Macmillan, and I pick up my morning newspaper, and there was a headline that changed my life. I, I didn't know it at the time, but it changed my life. And that headline said, today, Oral Roberts said that a 900-foot-tall, floating up in the air, Jesus had appeared to him for private consultation. <laughs> I'll repeat what I just said. <laughs> he said, a 900-foot-tall. It's really imperative that we all have the same general idea of how tall that is, because it's going to make the joke a lot damn funnier, all right? 900 feet is three football fields on top of one another. It is almost exactly the same height as the Transamerica Pyramid in San, in San Francisco, if you want a point of reference. A nine hundred foot tall, floating, floating <laughs> up in the air, Jesus had appeared to him for private consultation. First two words that sprang to my mind when I read this were bullshit. Uh, but, but I thought, well, the press is taking him out of context that nobody would really say that. So I wrote uh, on company stationery to Oral Roberts University and ask for their press release. What did he say happened, right? And I got it back, and, and a comedy career was born. Because, uh, this is what he said happened. I quote verbatim, quotation marks. I turned, this was at 3.30 in the afternoon in downtown Tulsa, quotation marks. I turned around, that's how he talks, I turned around, and there he was, a 900-foot-tall Jesus floating alongside the road. Those eyes, oh, those eyes, there I was, eye to eye, <laughs> with the Lord, end of quote. Now, for those of you trying to picture this in your mind, let me answer a few of the easy questions. <laughs> no, Oral never explains whether or not the 900-foot-tall Jesus was thereby bending uh, way over, kind of like this, kind of like floating in a hunched-over position. <laughs> or if Jesus, perchance, was floating upside down. <laughs> with his head down here and his feet 900 feet up in the air, but that would necessitate him wearing pants instead of his traditional robe, you understand? You know, what with, you know, gravity and all. Uh, or if, if, if uh, 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 Oral is a lot goddamn taller than he looks to be on TV. And, and so I, I looked that up, too, okay, just to, just to be sure. And Oral Roberts is tall. I mean, he really is. He's very tall. You know, as, as people go, he is six foot, four inches tall, much taller than I am. However, quick subtraction will tell us that at 6'4", he is 893 feet and eight fucking inches shorter than a 900-foot-tall Jesus, and that counts nothing at all for the float. So, is this on? So, so he can't be seeing eyeball to eyeball from across the street. The angle at the apex would be a little acute. Uh, However, the question is not, did they see eye to eye? The question is, did it happen at all? Did a scry skyscraper tall Jesus appear to Oral that day? Tell you the truth, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. But I thought about it, thought about it for a couple of years. When I figured out the answer, I got into comedy. 
I don't know. There's only four things that could have happened on that day. I just don't know which one did. So I'll give you all four and you make up your own mind, all right? Oral says a 900-foot-tall Jesus appeared to him. He'll look you dead in the eye today and tell you that. That a 900-foot-tall, floating up in the air Jesus appeared to him. Possibility, amen, buddy. Possibility number one is maybe on that beautiful day in May, Brother Oral Roberts went stone-cold fucking crazy. <laughs> that could have happened, okay? It happens to somebody every day. So it could have happened to Oral on that day. Second possibility is maybe on that beautiful day in May, Brother Oral Roberts had in his possession and then went ahead and took some of the very best LSD that, that's ever come tippy-toeing down the pike. Now, I'm in Northern California. Some of you folk may or you know, have actually done some hallucinogenics, but let me tell you, in the 60s and 70s, I took some massive amounts. And while I've never seen a 900-foot tall floating up in the air messiah uh, or major prophet for my Jewish and Islamic friends, I, uh, I did say, I did say, I did say the entire Grand Funk Railroad Band come out of a record album and perform live in front of it. I saw that. I saw that. It was the third best concert I've ever seen. They did an hour and a half, came back and did a 45-minute encore. could have had just slightly better shit than I did. <laughs> That's the point I'm making. <laughs> Possibility number three. Maybe on that beautiful day in May, Brother Oral Roberts made this shit up. <laughs> Maybe he's a bald-faced liar. My personal sentimental favorite, I might add. <laughs> However, if he lied, credit where credit is due, brothers and sisters, that is one hell of a lie, all right? Balls. Well, Oral carries his around in the holy wheelbarrow, all right? The cojones running out. I say unto thee, if thou was going to tell of them a lie, tell them a what? <laughs> Corinthians 4. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not one of the first three, and I do believe it is one of the first three, but if it ain't, possibility number four, it's true. But to be true, it's got to be true. It's got to be a 900-foot-tall Jesus. If that's true, then Oral Roberts would be the hardest man in all of history to impress. Ask yourself, why would Jesus Christ grow to 900 feet tall after he just returned from the dead? He wouldn't need to show off, now would he? He was trying to get Oral's attention, all right? He knew his infinite wisdom. Showed up 10 feet tall or so, Oral shot him off. <laughs> I'm a hard man to impress. I've lived a lot. Little bitty, teeny, tiny, floating up in the air, Jesus, blow my shit away. <laughs> little anorexic Buddha put me down. <laughs> Minuscule Muhammad. Moses, Jacob. Besides, how come nobody else in Tulsa happened to spot this nine there? But don't seem like you missed this on your way off the book. <laughs> Say, Myrtle. Oh, Myrtle, goddamn it, 
and I'm serious this time, honey. Isn't that a 900 foot tall Jesus? Like floating alongside the road over there. Oh, what's he doing, Willard? Selling band seats? <laughs> make up your mind of which one of those four you think it is. It is one of those four, you know. Oral Roberts said the 900 foot tall Jesus told him to raise money. <laughs> Darn, I was going for it up to then. Uh, you know, I've read the New Testament. In my life, I've kind of turned around and came back to believe in God. I've considered myself a Christian, so I go to no church. I've, my personal opinion, I don't really think the second coming of Christ will be a fundraiser. <laughs> Does that make me a heretic? I don't really think Christ would grow to 900 feet tall to do anything. It's just like really out of character, you know? But if I'm wrong, say I'm wrong on those two things, and Jesus Christ comes back to earth, of all things, to raise money. And then, let us say, that he grows to 900 feet tall to do it. Let's, let's make that quantum leap in uh, logics and theology. And so he's back here on earth, 900 feet tall, raising money. He still does not go to a right-wing, racist, warmongering, homophobic, backwards fucking preacher. And he's also from home to tell him to go get the money. stupid what Jesus will chop liver <laughs> he'd float up outside of Donald Trump's uh, 85th floor window in midtown Manhattan and just tap on that window from the outside Donnie I think you can guess who I am and I need some money and Trump's gonna go you betcha <laughs> kind of hoping I could find my way in. Uh, 